Hello and welcome to another installment in ITAM's video series on foreign direct investment in Vietnam. According to researchers at the Groloff at Harvard University, Vietnam is forecast to be among the fastest growing economies by 2030. However, the country is facing many drawbacks of climate change and pollution. Social economic development is under environmental concerns. In this video, we will be discovering the FDI flows towards sustainable investment in Vietnam. Vietnam's economic development largely relies on natural resources, particularly agriculture, fisheries, and forestry. Such dependent raise conflicts and compromises by placing stress on the environment as a result of deforestation, land degradation, flooding, water pollution, overfishing, and air pollution. Vietnam will pay a high cost in terms of damage to the economies and harms to the most vulnerable population. The vulnerabilities of poor communities to climate change could result in up to 1 million more people living in extreme poverty by 2030. According to the Vietnam Country Climate and Development Report of the World Bank, the total economic losses associated with climate change could reach 12 to 14.5% of GDP per year by 2050, putting huge burdens on both public and private finances. The United Nations Development Program launched the Joy GOV UN Program, GP for short, to support Vietnam's transformation to a more inclusive, production green and climate resilient economies and accelerate the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs for short. The GP will assist in the development and rolling out of Vietnam's 2030 integrated financing and investment strategies while considering the impact of COVID-19. The GP will support the achievement of SDGs through the mobilization of finance, promoting policy coherence and facilitating effective public-private partnership. Additionally, the GP will positively and directly impact SDGs through the creation of decent jobs, entrepreneurship, and innovation, as well as supporting Vietnam's transition to a low-carbon economy. On August 11, 2022, Minister Nguyen Chi Dung, assigned by the Prime Minister of the Government of the Social Republic of Vietnam, held a signing ceremony with the United Nations Resident Co Coordinator in Vietnam, Pauli Temesis. As a consequence, the One Strategic Framework for Sustainable Development Cooperation for the period 2022-2026 to has been duly signed and outlined four key development outcomes, inclusive social development, climate change response, share prosperity through economic transformation, and last but not least, governance and access to justice. As we already mentioned in the previous episodes, FDI has played a vital role in Vietnam's social economic development over the past years. In fact, the country is confronting a number of issues to increase the quality and sustainability of FDI flows. In order to captive the more foreign investor, the Vietnamese government had drawn out three key change sectors as below. Firstly, prioritize FDI in innovative and environmental friendly sector including renewable energies, logistics, education, tourism. Attracting FDI will ensure a balance between export growth and investment in developing value-added products and services, and using domestic raw materials, developing supporting industry, and chaining human resources. Secondly, in terms of partners, it is necessary to focus on attracting FDI especially multinational corporations associated with domestic enterprises to form and develop clusters of industry linkage according to each value chain. In the short term, continue to attract FDI into industries where Vietnam still have advantages such as texture, garment, footwear. At the same time, focus on stages of creating high added values associated with the production process, smart and automation, carry out multilateralization and diversification to attract FDI from potential markets and partners, 
effectively exploiting relationship with strategic partners, focusing on the world's leading developed countries, transnational cooperation, holding source technologies, advanced and modern management level. In addition, proactively monitors and assess the chain of shifting FDI flows into Vietnam with audit technologies and risks of causing environmental pollution from some countries in the region to take timely measures to prevent them. The attraction of FDI from small and medium-sized enterprises, small and micro-scale projects might ensure conditions for upgrading technologies and joining the global production network and value chains and developing supporting industries. Thirdly, FDI attraction would be suitable with advantages, condition, development level, and planning of each locality in the regional linkage, ensuring the overall economic, social, environmental efficiency. For sensitive areas and areas related to national defense and securities, borders, areas, sea areas, islands, an inclusive economic zone, the attraction of FBI needs to ensure national defense and securities. In summaries, Vietnam has been and will always have considerable potential for green FDI programs, catching up with the global chain and requirements. Foreign investors will definitely demand more from local firms with more innovative business models and strategies that meet both finance targets and sustainability goals. If you are seeking investment opportunities, why not here? iCham will come along with you to deliver up to date statistics and key facts to add you in your journey. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. Or if you'd like to stay in more direct combination with us, send us a message to the email in the description. Finally, don't forget to subscribe. Ciao and have a bye.